so I can't sit there in my underwear. Like I was playing. You could. Day. They're not going to see underneath the table. <laughs> I did that at blind wave actually all the time. I just pull my pants down. Or I pull my pants underwear down sometimes. <laughs> just sit there. I would sit there naked, and we've never asked Eric, "What the fuck?" You know, I mean, he just couldn't say anything. You know. Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. I'm Tom. We're back with Avatar The Last Airbender, Season 3, Episode 3. Uh, that was a week. Sorry. <clears throat> Last episode, Tom, we had uh, things are... I don't say they're heating up, but uh, Zuko and Iroh. We actually had Zuko yeah, confront man. Iroh again, I think for the, the second time. And, uh, and her sister, Zula, knows about it. Yeah, Ira's not interested, and he just turned his back on you him. You see, had a tear in his eye. Him. Yeah, that's. I mean, I can't imagine the rage and anger just literally sitting rotting. And Ira's looking rough too. Well, here's the thing that I'm thinking about. I think Ira, and obviously I I've seen this show, but I remember the broad strokes. I don't have like a clear memory of exactly what he's thinking. But to me, I, I knowing Ira, I feel like he's the most disappointed than he is angry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No doubt about it. I'm just, like, I'm thinking... You're thinking you'd be angry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I'd be furious. Yeah. Hey, if you want to support us, just leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think about conversations like this, because we love having them. And we also have our Patreon. You can uh, see the next four episodes on there. And we're going to jump into Avatar now. Season 3, Episode 3, now. Hey, maybe we can get food there. You just piss off the side. kind of like Aang with hair. Me too. Where's this village? It's in the middle of the river. Sure is. My name's Doc. Mind if I ask who you are? We're, um, from the Earth Kingdom colonies. Wow, colonials. Why do you guys live on the river? Because we're a fishing town. At least that's how it was before the factory moved in. Army makes their metal there. Moved in a few years ago and started gunking up our river. Look at this place. It's so sad. We have to do something to help. Come on, Guitar, be reasonable about this. You know our mission has to come first. I guess so. Let's just get what we need and go. Ugh. You'll just take the fish. Mind telling your brother we need to ride back to shore? Can you spare some food? I start spanking his ass right there. Boy! <laughs> Right? You're guessing it, you know. I think Appa's You're sick. guessing how long a year is. What? Okay, but Appa's this takes sick? place. That's awful. What, which Saka? it feels I didn't like. Realize you cared so much. Of course I care. Uh, hold on, we'll talk about that. His tongue is perfect. That can't be good. Katara, can you heal him? I'm drinking out water. It looks shit. like he needs some medicine. Maybe we can find the right herbs in town. Hey, you know what herbs to give him? Different. Yeah. Are the people happier? <laughs> Food was delivered to our village by a mysterious and wonderful person. The Painted Lady. The Painted who now? The Painted Lady. She's part of our town's lore. They say she's a river spirit who watches over our town in times of need. I always thought she was just a legend. Until now. Sorry. All the medicine we have goes to the factory. That's why there's so many sick people in our village. Looks like we need to stay another night so Appa can rest. <sighs> I guess you're right. I don't remember this shit at all. <sighs> Who the hell is this chick with these superpowers? Call it Katara, dude. It looked like her. You know, last night she visited us again, healed most of our sick folks. Is that why this place seems so festive? Yeah, it's all because of the painted lady. Can you believe how much an entire village can be affected by one lady? Well, I hope she returns every night. Otherwise, this place would go right back to the way it was. Why would you say that? Look how much better off these people are. Okay, you're right. I, to me, it wasn't clear that it was a guitar there, but it makes the most sense. But, like, where's she getting all this shit? All this money? Just buying all this food? Giving it to them? And I know she can heal people with water. Okay. 
But before all of this, how did she know about the the mythology of the town? What's funny is like, why keep it hidden from them? Excuse me? Yeah, I don't that's need to I don't you, know. But I'm pretty sick and we're on kind of a tight schedule. Dude, you get out of here, Ang. <laughs> I'm a little annoyed by him right now, I'm not gonna lie. My name's Ed. I'm the Avatar. Well, hello, Avatar. You seem familiar, too. A lot of people say that. No, you really seem familiar. Katara? Hi, Aang. You're the Painted Lady? Or no, I wasn't at first. I was just trying to help the village. But since everyone thought that's who I was anyway, oh. I guess I just kind of became her. So you've been sneaking out at night? Wait, is Appa even sick? He might be sick of the purple berries I've been feeding him, but other than that, he's oh, fine. Oh, man. I can't believe you lied to everyone that... so you can help these people. No, I think it's great. You're like a secret hero. Well... If you want to help, there's one more thing I have to do. That place looks like... See, so, so basically, the Fire Nation is having their own industrial revolution, like an industrial revolution right now. But what were they doing Let's before all this? this? Just yes. sitting around campfires Saga and shit? Was just kidding, but yeah. was right. Getting rid of this factory is the only way to help these people permanently. Jesus. Hi, Sokka. We were just out on a morning walk. Oh, really? A morning walk? I know you're the painted lady. I know you've been sneaking out at night. <laughs> Katara, what you did put our whole mission in jeopardy. We're leaving right now. Dude, chill the fuck out, dude. You know what I'm saying? What did you know about this? Not gonna slaughter all the fishermen. Sokka was being a little punk ass bitch. You need me, and I will never turn my back on you. There we go. Oh god, you really do have a heart. I I, I love guitar there. You steal our food, our medicine, and then you destroy our factory. We didn't do any of that. Yeah. Look, look at those people. What makes them think they can do it? Yeah, look how beaten down they are. It's like when you go to New Matamoris. And I suppose she drew the army emblem on your containers, too. This is a town of thieves and liars. We're going to cure the world of this wretched village. <laughs> it's the painted lady. She's coming. There is no painted lady. Ah! <laughs>
Wait a minute. I know you. You're not the painted lady. You're that colonial girl. Yeah, you're the lady that gave me a fish. You've been tricking us. You're a waterbender. How dare you act like our painted lady? Because of her, that factory won't be polluting your river, and the army is gone. You should be down on your knees thanking her. I shouldn't have acted like someone I wasn't, and I shouldn't have tricked you. You can't wait around for someone to help you. You have to help yourself. She's right. Maybe we can clean the river. Yeah. We can clean the river. Yeah. 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 How the hell do you clean that river? You're not so bad for a waterbender. I don't think that's very effective. Yeah, you need like a waterbender. Dude, I think that would take weeks. That would take forever. Where were you where at? Were you? I was gonna say, where were you? Where were you at, lady? <laughs> right, so, the fact that she's using the mythology of these people, using their own mythology, religion, and customs to, to help them. Do you think that was needed in particular? Do you think she needed to dress as... Like, I understand to get the Fire Nation to fool them, but to feed them at night and stuff like that? Why, why would she do that? Why not just do it as yourself? Yeah. It, it was strange. Like, I get why she did what she did it was very noble um like i don't completely poo poo on Sokka's standpoint like he was being a jerk like there's he was being a big jerk I but like his reasoning behind saying like listen i don't know that we can help every single yeah i think he was right village. there like, but, but the problem i have is he's being a jerk here's the thing at the end of the day like in the grand scheme of things, the one thing that I agree with Sock on was like, yeah, I mean, he, he's kind of right in terms of like that we are in a very, very specific time crunch here. Mm -hmm. And it, this goes beyond this village. This goes beyond this people. This is literally the fate of the entire world. And, you know, we've now wasted, not wasted in terms of like, oh, well, we helped these people and we wasted an extra three days, but wasted like if you just told the truth at the beginning of what you were doing. Maybe we could have helped you, and we could have had all this resolved in one day instead of three or four. Yeah. Now it all worked out in the end. And what the hell was that? Uh, what, what was that lady? There? What, what was her name? The their, their religious figurehead. What the fuck's her name, Tom? Painted lady. Painted lady. Okay. <laughs> when her people were dying and getting sick, eating mud clams. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Anyways, guys, uh, we appreciate you watching our reaction. If you like us and support us, leave a comment down below. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. Check out our merch. And check out the Ahsoka show that is, I think, currently airing as this is. So, we're out of here.